I, I don't know if you can see, but why don't you come and just show really quickly how she's receiving, you want to come here, how she's receiving the food. So you're never letting her touch your hand. See how she's waiting respectfully? No. She's waiting respectfully. Good. You put it on the mat, she takes it off the mat. If she's touching your hand, if she's trying to take the food from you, you've lost it. So it's the little things that matter the most. Throughout this exercise, it's complete focus. Also, this builds great respect for the person doing this exercise, which means she's way less likely to guard you as if you're a possession uh, out there on the street or a thing. She's way more likely to see you as you protecting her and she doesn't guard the leader, right? Also, she's way more likely to come to you when you say come or any other command if you, you do things that, that uh, breed respect in, in her throughout all these exercises. Like that's super important. She doesn't touch your hand. She waits until, good. You leave it there and withdraw. So we're gonna just move on to some harder stuff. Whenever you're gonna do something that you think might be really difficult for her to handle, it's okay. As you notice, nobody says stay anymore. I mean, modern dog training. So we don't say stay. Down means to stay, sit means to stay. So you just eliminate that whole command. The less talking you do, the better in general with, with dog training. So down means stay there no matter what happens until I come back and get you or release you. So we don't have to say stay, there is no stay, but if you're gonna do something really difficult for her, at times it's okay to remind her what you want her to keep doing. So I'm gonna say down, because I'm gonna do some difficult things here. Go outside. First I'm gonna appear at the window. Bang on the window. There's a mail flap here. Knock on the door. Ring the doorbell. Usually only one of those things is gonna happen. She gets a big double reward. Good. Still, I'm moving slowly and calmly. Because if all that stuff I did kind of frantically, but when I show back up to reward, it's all about the delivery. It's all about the quality of how you do this, it matters. Plenty of dogs have down stays or sit stays and they're out of control. So it's the quality of the downstay and sit stay that matters. It has to be taught like this at a really deep level or else it's just irrelevant. So we're doing it in a way that she has to stay focused and calm throughout this exercise no matter what happens. Every day you do this exercise and we release her, she keeps a little bit more of that calmness every day you do this. So as the weeks and months go by, you see you're getting calmer and calmer and calmer, just like you've already seen just from her two months here. She's waiting for you to come back next to her, just like on the street. You're never gonna call her out of a downstay or sit stay on the street, that would be dangerous and would never happen. So she's waiting until you come back, just like out in public, next to her like this, pat your leg and say, okay. And then we're gonna do sit, okay. I always like her to sit straight at the front door. We're gonna do the front door thing again and I'm gonna give her a little free time outside. She waits till I come back. Okay to walk with me. See how the leash is always loose. On the outside of the boundary, sit. And then she gets to release to be free after she's gone through the doorway calmly. And she'll wait there, see I unhook the leash, until you go, release her. Then she gets a little free time out in the yard.